32 of the most venomous animals in the world. Venom evolved hundreds of millions of years ago, creating a chemical arms race between predatory and prey. Here are some of the most venomous animals living on Earth. Venom is one of the animal kingdom's oldest and most effective weapons, providing creatures with an effective means of attack or defense. Spider venom, for example, is thought to have evolved from a single protein 375 million years ago, while snake venom first appeared 60 to 80 million years ago. Scientists have even identified a dinosaur from the early Cretaceous period, 145 to 66 million years ago, that used venom to place its prey in a rapid state of shock according to a study published in 2009. Unlike poisonous animals, which have toxins that victims inhale, absorb, or swallow, of venom is injected into the target. Venom has evolved multiple times across all animal groups, except birds, with its potency developing through a chemical arms race alongside the target's resistance to the venom. An estimated 15% of animals are venomous, from jellyfish the size of your fingernail through to giant lizards and snakes. Here are 32 of the most venomous animals on Earth. Irukandji box jellyfish. The Irukandji box jellyfish, Karukia barnesi, is a tiny species, growing to just 0.8 inch, 2 centimeters, in diameter, yet its stinging tentacles, which can stretch up to 3.2 feet, 1 meter, can pack a very nasty punch. Its venom is which causes Irukandji syndrome, attacks the nervous system and can paralyze the lungs and heart. The jellyfish attack using the specialized stinging cells that line their four tentacles, firing venom-filled barbs at their target, according to the Australian Museum. Their venom is the Irukandji's defense system against would-be predators. Platypus adult male platypus, Ornithorhynchus anatinus, have hollow spurs on their hind legs that are linked to glands that produce venom. Their venom production peaks during mating season, leading scientists to believe it is used as a weapon to compete with other males for access to females, according to the Australian Platypus Conservancy. They inject venom by wrapping their legs around the victim and driving the spurs into their rival's flesh, according to a blog written by Bianca opden Brow, a toxicologist at the University of Melbourne in Australia. Platypus venom is not lethal to humans or other platypuses, but it can cause swelling and severe pain. Black Mamba Black Mambas, Dendroaspis polylepis, are the longest venomous snakes in Africa, reaching around 8 feet, 2.55 mates in length. They are also one of the fastest snakes on Earth, hitting speeds of around 12.5 yona preser, 20 kakwavra kwaioich, according to National Geographic. If untreated, a bite from a black mamba is almost always fatal. Each fang of an adult black mamba contains between 12 and 20 drops of venom, and it only takes two drops to kill a human, wrote Ryan Blumenthal, a forensic pathologist at the University of Pretoria, for the conversation. Geography cone snail. Geography cone snails, Conus geographus, found in reefs of the Indo-Pacific, grow up to six inches, 15 centimeter long, and are the most venomous of the 500 known cone snails. There are more than 10,000 active compounds in their venom, which is delivered through a tooth that is propelled from a flexible and extendable appendage called a proboscis, according to National Geographic. There is no anti-venom for a cone snail sting, and treatment involves keeping the victim alive until the toxins wear off. Around 15 people have died from cone snail stings in the last 30 years, according to a 2016 study published in the International Journal of Clinical Pharmacology and Therapeutics. Bullet ant bullet ants, Paraponera clavata, deliver one of the world's most excruciating ant stings, often likened to being shot with a bullet, and the pain can last unabated for up to 24 hours. These creatures, which are just 0.8 inches, 2 centimeters in length, pack a powerful sting in their tiny bodies. Bullet ants inject venom that targets nerve cells involved in pain perception, causing paralysis at the sight of the sting and uncontrollable shaking. While their venom paralyzes and kills small organisms, Stings are not fatal to humans. Komodo dragon. The largest lizards on Earth, Komodo dragons, Varanus komodoensis, can grow up to 10 feet and 3 meters in length. Along with huge serrated teeth they use to shred prey and bacteria-filled saliva, Komodo dragons also use venom produced in glands in their lower jaws to take down prey. This venom causes shock and prevents blood from clotting, 
according to a study published in 2009, ultimately finishing a victim off and allowing the dragons to feast at a leisurely pace. Komodo dragons are closely related to Megalania, Varanus priscus, an enormous extinct monitor lizard that could reach up to 23 feet, 7 mino, in length, making it the largest venomous animal to have ever lived, according to the study. Bruno's cask-headed frog, Bruno's cask-headed frogs, a parasphenodon brunoi, unlike their poisonous relatives that deliver toxins through skin secretions, are venomous. These little frogs inject their deadly venom through spikes on their heads, according to a study published in 2015. Their venom is stored in skin glands around their heads, ready to be delivered through the bony spines that line their skulls. The venom of Bruno's casky-headed frogs is an estimated 25 times stronger than that of a pit viper. Just 0.03 ounces, one gram of venom from this species could kill 80 people, according to new scientists. Blue-ringed octopus. There are four species of blue-ringed octopus. The greater blue-ringed octopus, Hapalacleina lunulata. The southern blue-ringed octopus, Hapalacleina maculosa. The blue-lined octopus, Hapalacleina fasciata. And the common blue-ringed octopus, Hapalacleina nyerstrasi. They are all small enough to fit in the palm of your hand and contain a powerful neurotoxin that can paralyze and kill humans within minutes. There's also no known antidote for their venom. They are named for the colorful rings that appear when the octopus feels threatened or is getting ready to dispense venom. Russell's viper, one of the world's deadliest snake species. The Russell's viper, Daboya russeli, is responsible for the majority of the 58,000 snake bite deaths in India every year according to a study published in 2021. The viper kills so many because it combines potent venom with close proximity to humans. Snakes often rest in paddy fields and cross paths with farmers during harvest season. Their venom can lead to a wide range of symptoms, including severe bleeding, organ damage, and kidney failure, according to a 2014 report. Anti-venom is available, but people bitten are often in rural areas without quick access to care while many still rely on traditional healers instead of medical professionals. Sydney funnel web spider. Sydney funnel web spiders, Atrax robustus, are found across coastal areas of Eastern Australia. Females can reach up to 3.14 inches, eight centimeters across, while the largest male recorded was 3.1 inches, 7.9 centimeters across, about the size of an Olympic gold medal. The venom produced by males contains a neurotoxin that can be deadly for humans. A bite from a Sydney funnel web spider can kill in as little as 15 minutes, although no deaths have been recorded since anti-venom was introduced almost 50 years ago. Saddleback caterpillar. Saddleback caterpillars, Acarea stimulea, are the larvae of slug moths. They are brightly colored and possess venomous spines that protrude from its body. They are found across the eastern United States, from Florida up to New York, and as far west as Texas. The spines are pointed and hollow and embed deeply into the tissue of a victim before breaking off. The venom can cause a range of symptoms, from hives to anaphylactic shock, blood clots, and hemorrhaging, according to the University of Florida. Brazilian wandering spiders. All Brazilian wandering spiders are venomous and their cocktail of toxins affects the neuromuscular system. Humans experience a burning pain at the sight of a bite, along with sweating and goosebumps. Around 30 minutes after a bite, victims can experience convulsions, blurred vision, a fast or slow heart rate, and hypothermia, along with other symptoms, including painful and long-lasting erections. Fatalities are rare, however. 15 deaths have been attributed to these spiders in Brazil since 1903, according to a study published in 2000. Death Stalker Scorpion. The Death Stalker Scorpion, Lyurus quinquestriatus is one of the deadliest scorpion species in the world. Its sting causes pain and paralysis, according to Arizona State University. These scorpions live in desert and scrublands from North Africa to the Middle East and hide under rocks as they wait for prey to pass. It is a large species reaching almost four inches, 10 centimeters long, and can strike at incredible speeds of up to 51 inches, 130 centimeter per second. While very painful, the venom is rarely fatal to healthy adults. It is also being investigated for its potential role in cancer treatments. Slow loris. Slow lorises, genus Nyticabus, 
are the world's only venomous primate. These furry little animals, native to South and Southeast Asia, have a unique delivery system for their venom. They secrete toxic oil from glands on their upper arms, and when they feel threatened, they raise their arms and lick these glands, combining the oil with their saliva to produce a venomous bite. This venom-packed bite causes flesh to rot. It can also result in anaphylactic shock and, in rare cases, death. King Cobra, King Cobra's Ophiophagus hannah, are the longest venomous snake on Earth, measuring up to 18 feet, 5.5 mouths, according to the Natural History Museum in London. If they feel threatened, they lift their heads off the ground and flare out the skin around their heads. While their venom is not the most potent, the snake can deliver huge quantities in each bite, and they tend to strike several times during each attack. A single bite can kill a human in around 15 minutes, Sean B. Carroll, molecular biologist at the University of Maryland, wrote in the New York Times. Red imported fire ant. Red imported fire ants, Solenopsis invicta, are native to South America, but they have gained a foothold as an invasive species in the United States and Australia. Worker fire ants attach to the skin using their mandibles and then inject the venom into their victims with their stinger, according to the University of Florida. Stings are painful and can trigger allergic reactions, including anaphylactic shock, which in rare cases can be fatal. Around 1% of the population is hypersensitive to the venom and are at risk of experiencing lethal allergic reactions, according to Texas A and M University. Inland Taipan native to Central and Eastern Australia, Inland Taipans, Oxyuranus microlepidotus, are one of the most venomous species of snake in the world. Their venom is one of the most potent ever discovered. According to a study published in 2007, a single bite contains enough venom to kill 100 humans, according to the Australia Zoo. Symptoms of an inland taipan bite include headache, nausea, abdominal pain, and paralysis. Coupled with its extreme potency, their venom also contains a special enzyme that helps increase the rate of absorption. Luckily, inland taipans rarely come into contact with humans, meaning few bites are ever recorded. The common vampire bat. With a wingspan of just seven inches, 18 centimeters, common vampire bats, Desmodus rotundus, are venomous mammals that use their toxic bite to help them feed on blood. They normally target large animals like cattle, horses, pigs, and sheep while they are sleeping. Vampire bats will use their sharp incisors to puncture their victim's skin before delivering venom from the sides of its tongue as it sucks up the blood via ducts on either side of its tongue. The bite is described as painless, and their venom has anticoagulant properties that delays blood clotting, allowing the bat to feed for as long as it needs. Stonefish. Stonefish, Sinensia, are a group of fish consisting of five species, all of which can deliver a potentially fatal venomous sting. These fish, found in coastal reefs in the Indian and Pacific Oceans, sit completely still on the seafloor, waiting for unsuspecting prey to swim by. Their venom is designed for defense rather than to subdue their next meal. Their dorsal spines contain venom that is released under pressure, if stood on, for example. A sting from a stonefish can cause extreme pain and swelling at the site, which can spread to the rest of the leg or arm within minutes, according to Mount Sinai. Fatalities are extremely rare but can happen. Southern Black Widow Spider 